Hey, scientists, I know we've been talking about light energy and reflection last week. We're going to do a little bit more on reflection today, and then tomorrow you will do a science experiment. So you need your reflection page. We're going to read it together, and then you are going to answer the questions because you needed to get some independent work in. And we're going to change a few of the questions on there. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is all about reflection. What is reflection? A reflection happens when light bounces off an object. When that object is smooth and flat, a mirror image can be seen. On liquids like a lake, the ripples caused by the wind may distort the reflection, making it look wavy. So I want you to underline the word distort because that's one of your questions. You're gonna to need to figure out what that means using your context clues. And I know you know how to do that. The distort, so you'll have to reread that sentence, just like when we do vocabulary, what are the clues that helps us figure that out? The distorted reflection from fun house mirrors happens when a mirror has, a concave, has concave and convex curves. The original object seems wider or thinner in the bent reflection. A miniature version can be seen on the concave inside or convex back of a spoon. So concave means it sticks out, like if you puff out your belly. Convex means it goes, no, I had that backwards, sorry. Concave goes in, cause like a cave. So it's like if you suck in really well, really hard, your stomach goes concave. Convex is when you puff it out, when something sticks out. So it's like, think of the back of a spoon, it's out, right? The inside of the spoon has the, that's where you put all the food. So that's concave. The outside is convex. Lakes and mirrors and spoons give literal reflections, but people also reflect figuratively. For example, after a big day or a special event, a person might want to write some ideas on a, in a reflection journal. Years later, they can reflect on that special day. So you might do that even. Okay, so this passage is a little bit different. So we're gonna mark out some of this stuff you do not need to read it out loud and get timed. Okay, so you don't need to do that. Unless you really want to, okay? All right, you don't need to be timed so you can mark that out. So you're gonna answer question number one for a discussion post. Question number two, discussion post. Define reflection. And then of course, in Schoology, you need to type in your answers in complete sentences. Reflection is, what does distort mean? Distort means, go back in, you're gonna have to go back into the text and find your clues, okay? Um, we just briefly talked about that. So we're gonna do part of this together. It says label, remember concave, that's when you suck in like a cave. So this one would be concave and the sticking out of your tummy is convex. And we didn't really talk about that in the science book. So that's why we're just gonna give you the answers and move on. Then this one, we're gonna mark that as question three for a discussion post. So make sure you mark it. So you have define reflection, distort, and look at, the look at your reflection in both sides of a spoon. How is it different? So look when the spoon part goes in and then turn the, the spoon and then look where the convex side where it goes puffs out. I wanna use a big spoon, okay? Um, part three. We're not doing, and then you can answer part four. But you reflect on that was important to you. Okay, so today for science you have one, two, three for your discussion post, and tomorrow you will be completing a experiment with reflection.